Coming down after a winter-long, once-in-a-generation restoration project, the scaffolding is finally being taken off the side of the world-famous Ribblehead Viaduct. It's a landmark day for Network Rail. Philippa Britton has been one of those overseeing the work. So we've just completed this £2.1 million scheme to carry out specialist repairs on this iconic railway structure, working from scaffold towers over 100 feet tall, carrying out stonework and repairs to the drainage and painting as well. And then we've continued to keep services running throughout for key workers and the freight route as well. Once threatened with demolition, the Ribblehead Viaduct carries the settle to Carlisle railway line, taking commuters, freight and tourists from North Yorkshire to Cumbria. Ribblehead Viaduct is an icon. It's, it's probably the most famous structure, not just on the line, but probably the most famous railway structure anywhere in the UK. In fact, it's internationally renowned, um, not just because it was saved in the 80s, but also because of its unique uh, location and how wild it is. And you think of how the engineers in the, and the navvies in the um, 19th century must have struggled to put this structure up. And you get a day like this, and you can't help but marvel over that sort of engineering achievement. The engineers have been working on this project throughout the winter and they've had to endure some appalling weather conditions. A bit like today, the weather changes by the minute. It's cold, it's wet, it's miserable. Keeping the team motivated in all weathers has been key to the success of this project. But for site manager James Lunny, it's been a special job. It's a privilege for me to work on, obviously, me, uh, my father started on this, this uh, viaduct in the 70s, uh, brought me out when I was a young child, obviously, and then um, obviously when I left school, I decided to follow my dad and become a bricklayer myself, and uh, hey-ho, I'm actually come back and working on the structure my father started on. In normal times, people come from all over the world to admire this magnificent feat of Victorian engineering, now restored back to its old self with that unsightly scaffolding gone. Ian White, BBC Look North, Ribblehead.